Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am so, so beyond excited for this video because today we're gonna to be playing with the new Unveiled palette. This is a collaboration between Sydney Grace and Kendra Mathias, which I'm not familiar with her or her work, but from what I've seen from the Sydney Grace page, she is a bridal makeup artist and that's what this palette is all about. It is beautiful, it is such a stunning neutral palette. I already have high expectations of the quality because of everything else that City Grace has ever done, so I'm just so, so excited to play with this. And this was sent to me in PR, but I was planning on purchasing it myself. I already had the launch details saved. I actually was about to come home and film a indie makeup releases, and I was gonna talk about this palette and how excited I am for it. And then I opened my mailbox and it was already here. And I may have skipped into my house with joy. So if you are new here, hello, my name is Amy. I do a ton of content focused around indie makeup brands. I love makeup and I love getting to talk about and really focus and spotlight small businesses. So if that sounds like content that you're here for, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you are not new, then welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here again. In today's video, we are gonna go through and live swatch every single shade. I really like to take my time, discuss every detail of every shadow. We're gonna do an eye look together. And then at the end, I will kind of give you my first impression thoughts, how I'm feeling about the palette. So for now, let's just jump on into the swatches. Oh wait, I haven't even showed you what the palette looks like. That's how excited I am. Okay, so here is the packaging. It is this beautiful like nude with this like lace detailing. It's called Unveiled, which is super cute. It's like punny, but like in a cutesy, sweet way. And then here is what the inside looks like. You can see that we've got some like true neutral tones. We've got some rosy neutrals. We've got a little bit of cool tone happening here. Super cute, like bridal names, just absolutely stunning. This shade right here, High Bride, is already just calling to me. It's like High Barbie, but bridal. <laughs> and this is the light version of the palette. Sydney Grace, for majority of their palettes, have a light and a deep version. So I'll go ahead and leave a picture of what the deep version looks like on screen for you. It's basically this little section right here. So if you're looking at this and you're like, you know what, that's a little too light for me. Those are shades I would not reach for. Hold your panties. <laughs> there is another version of the palette. Okay, now, now we can start swatching. Now that you've actually seen the palette, I've been doing YouTube for how long? So like I said, the first shade we've got here is High Bride and it looks like a super, intense, like soft, pinky, taupey, metallic shade. So, so pretty. We've got Happy Wedding Day, which is a soft kind of like, ooh, <laughs> did you hear Mishka, my puppy? Well, I mean, she's still technically a puppy, but she was letting her presence be known. It's like a soft mauve, I would say. We've got Blushing Bride, which is kind of like a rosy brown, super pretty matte. There are only four shimmers in this palette, so if you love Sydney Grace mattes, this palette is coming through with them. Ooh, that sh shade is so pretty. Next we have the shade Honeymoon Phase, which is like a mid-tone, soft kind of berry matte. We've got Maid of Honor, which is like a berry brown, super, super pretty. Happily Ever After. This one's a little bit more of a soft gold and it's a little bit more satiny. It's still got a good shine to it, but nowhere near as intense as High Bride. Okay. Next we have First Dance, which is just a soft neutral brow, just like the perfect light transition color. We've got Forever and Always, which is a similar tone, just a touch, touch darker. We've got Tie the Knot, which this shade is so pretty. It's like this deep brownie green with gold and sparkles in it. I feel like from certain angles, it looks like not that much is happening, but then when you see the reflect, it's super pretty. I could see how that would make a really nice, like bridal, smoky color. Oh, I love that shade. Next we have Bombshell Bride, which is just a super nice, true, neutral, deeper brown. We've got Kanai Kisses. I'm not sure if I'm saying that perfectly right, but that's just like a soft, kind of white matte shadow. 
We've got I Do, which is another really soft shadow. It's just got a little bit of a gray kind of tone to it. Ooh, that's very bright. The white is. Like, it's not stark white, but it definitely has some brightness to it. Next, we've got It's Your Day, which is kind of like a gunmetal y silver metallic shade. We've got Unity, which I would say is like a kind of cool toned brown. And then, last but not least, I love the name of this. We've got Not a Bridezilla, which is a rich matte black. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. So there we have it. There is the full palette. It's super, super cute. I mean, definitely a very neutral, but I'm here for it. I'm actually, I'm very into kind of focusing on this little section and then bringing in this super intense pink. Something about that's just giving me life right now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go into this light, like gray shade I do first. Just using that on a pretty big fluffy blending brush and just throwing it through my crease just for like a really light transition just to kind of start off with a little bit something cool toned but I'm not going in too heavy. Basically just adds like a little shadow to the eye. I think that brush might even be like borderline a little bit too big. I mean just a little bit more of that on something smaller and I'm just gonna kind of bring it through my outer V and then start blending into my crease. It's funny because I put on this sweater and I was like, ooh, like there's some like cute little warm tones in the palette, but where did, where did I end up going? To the grays, of course. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab just a touch of the shade Unity now on that same brush. And again, just kind of focusing that in my outer V, tapping it down and then lightly buffing inwards. I'd love to know if this is a palette you guys would like to see multiple looks with. Please feel free to uh, leave your feedback down below. Okay, that's blending super, super nice. It looks really pretty. I'm kind of tempted to just dip my brush into the shade First Dance just a little bit because it looked really beautiful. I know it's gonna add just like a bit more warmth to the look, but there was just something about it when I swatched it. I just thought it looked so, so gorgeous. So I'm just gonna kind of go over the edge with that. I'm also gonna grab some more of Unity and just kind of throw that along a little bit of the lower lash line just for a little touch of depth, just kind of following along with what I already have going on. And then maybe let's go into just a touch of Bombshell Bride. I'm kind of feeling a little bit more brown and I'm just gonna use my pencil brush to kind of line my lash line slash add a little bit more depth on the outer V. Like just kind of adding color, but not super like in one spot, if you know what I mean. It's very smoky. Might even go with just a little bit of that on my bigger brush and just build it up more. I don't know, I'm feeling, feeling the full glam vibes. Let me stop there for a second before I get carried away. I think I'm gonna go into a little bit of this light, like white matte, and I'm going to use that to brighten the inner part of my eye right here. Just kind of throwing that on a little bit. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ugh, part of me wants to do an all matte eye, but I'm not going to. I'm also gonna kind of brighten underneath my brow bone a little bit with that. And then we can just lightly blend that edge. For my lower lash line, I think I'm gonna take just a little bit of It's Your Day, just maybe along the center. It's very smoky, but I wanna add a little bit of that into the look. I might even take a little bit of that on the same like fluffy brush that I used before and just throw it over like the outer third of the lid just to add that undertone before we go into the pink. You know I'm dying to go into the pink. So now going into the shade High Bride, I am going to attempt to use a brush first. Ideally, I would use my fingers, but because I have nails on, I'm just gonna see what's happening here with the brush. 
It does look really pretty. It looks a little bit softer. That's okay, it tends to happen when you apply things with brushes. As long as it's buildable, you will not hear any complaints from me. Kinda got the shape mapped out. I'm gonna go in with my finger. Just add a little bit of that on top. You see how much more intense that is. So pretty though. I'm just gonna take the brush that I used through my crease just kind of go over everything, make sure it's nice and soft. Cause I did bring that shimmer up pretty high. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take a touch more of High Bride and pop that on the lower lash line. Not mad at it at all. I also do already have face product on, but I feel like the shade Happy Wedding Day out of this palette would be a really cute blush. Might even add just a touch on top. I've got a BK Beauty 112 brush right here which is a pretty small blush brush. And I can just add a little bit of that right here. Just as I suspected, it is a beautiful blush. I'm gonna go into the Finding Ferdinand Lish Laughed Mascara and just throw that on real quick. Lastly, I'm just gonna go into a little bit of Velvet Blush Lightly from Lisa Eldridge. I'm just gonna kind of blot that on. Kind of into that like really soft blotted lip. Alrighty y'all, so this is my finished first look with the Unveiled palette and I really love how it turned out. I feel like the quality is what I expected from Sydney Grace. I am a little disappointed that there's no like metallic shade that's like their super like shiny, just like extremely intense formula, kind of like um, Butts. Is it Butts from the Tiny Marvels palette? That greeny silvery shade that's like butter. I feel like the shade in here that's like the most tense high bright is a little bit thicker. It just has a different texture to it. It's not bad by any means. That's just my favorite formula from Sydney Grace. So I'm like kind of missing it, but everything in here is beautiful. The mattes blended out super well. I feel like I just kept adding more and more and more because I was feeling very glam. I did a mixture of like some of these warm tones and cool tones. I think it looks so, so cute. I cannot wait to play with this more. I'm really happy with it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in another one very soon. Bye.